So since we are now working on the boat, it's been a, seems like a really good idea to get a bit more of an office style setup going. So that has necessitated removing our poor spices out of here and adding in a new place to mount a monitor. And hey, I can see our bed from here. Um, so basically this is gonna be our new monitor mount. Gonna get the bolts in for that. Hopefully that fits because I'm missing the piece bigger than it. Perfect. Okay. Um, let me get the washer. Got the back plate in. So all we need to do now is reattach the arm to the back plate. There we go. So this should go like that. We've got some tilt adjustment to do, but that's it. So when I'm working or we're just trying to watch TV or something, I can put it here and I'll have to adjust this. We can tilt it down, but we can tilt this down a little bit. We can turn it this way. If we want to sit here and do stuff. That is awesome. I mean, I'm sorry that the spice rack will have to find a new home, but I mean, now we have storage down here. We have a monitor that just comes out. Aren't you happy, Spanana? Spanana? Spanana. Come on, it's a good idea. We'll find, we'll build a brand new spice rack. Okay, come on, let's finish this job. Owning a boat, turns out it's expensive. <laughs> if you ask any other boat owner, they'll tell you the same thing. So we've realized that uh, over the past year that we can do this. We can actually cruise and we think that we can actually make money at the same time. To do that from the boat though, we do need consistent internet. And that is something that we think we now have a solution for. Some of you may be already familiar with what this box will have inside of it. But for those of you who don't, this is Starlink. Satellite internet anywhere in the world. Well, almost anywhere in the world. And definitely the places we're going to be in the next few months. Uh, this will allow us, we hope, to use that internet wherever we are. So let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. I think that's all the cuts I need. Oh no. It's all cut hard. Alright, so we have here the base for the Starlink. This is the actual satellite dish itself. So this is what's gonna point at the sky. This is the three-step instruction manual over here. Basically, point Starlink at the sky, set up the router, and use the app, I think. That's what it's trying to tell me. <laughs> so then that goes like that. There we go. So we've got the power cable over here. We've got the router over here. And that is it. Four pieces. Maybe five pieces counted a stand. That's everything. So let's put these together, put it up on deck, and connect it all together. This here is the router that powers the, well actually is the Wi-Fi network for inside the boat. So right now this is not plugged in, and this gray wire here is heading up to the deck. And for now, just setting this up on the deck, eventually we're gonna put it on a pole on our arch but here is just a way for us to make sure that this all works before we uh, get to that point. So, I'm just gonna tie the line around here and make sure that it doesn't fly away. A little windy. So let's probably go ahead and plug it in. So she's gonna plug it in and we'll see what happens with the dish itself. It should try to get a link. Or not, I might need to actually do another step. All right, hold on. So we just uh, use our phone camera to scan the sky around us. And so this should allow Starlink to figure out what parts of the sky are actually available for the satellite to turn, or the dish to turn. 
So right now it's estimating it, and hopefully after that, it'll find a position. You can see the dish has now gone flat, so it's now pointing up the satellites. So soon <laughs> we should see uh, the Wi-Fi network show up on our phones, and that'll be a sign that we are connected to the, well, at least the router, and then we'll take it from there. So now we've set up the network. The Starlink uh, satellite itself is connecting to GPS. So it's going to take 15 minutes. So after that, hopefully we have internet. So Star Turtle is online, which is our Wi-Fi network for the Starlink. Let's see the speed test. Oh no, it's zero! Oh, oh, oh! oh go, go, oh. go, 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 go! You can do it! Come on, Starlink! I mean, 43 is okay, but I think... Let's try that again. I was actually getting better numbers just before this. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's more like it. Those are really good numbers. That is better than anything we've ever had from cell phones and cell networks. Definitely able to watch videos and do any kind of work we need to from the boat. What is going on out here? Math. Lots and lots of math. So... This is going to hold up our Starlink. These guys are going to hold it up to the pole. And the other side is going to have bolts that are coming through. These U bolts that are going through here, that's going to hold up the exact uh, actual PVC pipe. So we have to find the center. Well, we have to find the attachment points on this. We have to find their center. Then find these guys a center this way. And then triangulate those into these three triangles so that and then make those holes and make sure these all line up okay and then make sure that we put the holes in that go in through these exactly and exactly as far a distance away as these are. So easy peasy, uh, just, a, just a few more bisecting lines and we'll have it in no time, no time. So we've got six inch starboard. This, so the three is the center point here. Let's mark the... Went that way. Okay. All right, so we find. Stop it. So we find the center point here. All right, so lots of math later. I love my little creation here. I have figured out the center point for these guys. These things are about a quarter inch, so an eighth of an inch is about um, their center point. And so we've got four holes to drill for two of these. These guys, I figured out their center point and the back of these packages actually have a template, but this is so old, it was there when before we bought the boat basically. So I covered it up in some nice tape and there's three drill points, so I'm gonna just and the fact is that when I put this on top of my own square that I drew just with math, it fits perfectly. So it's a nice independent corroboration of my math, which can on occasion be wrong, a lot. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna tape it on here, drill the three holes according to this template for both of them, drill the holes for these guys, and see if we can get this Starlink mounted today. sure that that would work absolutely perfectly the first time and it did I'm sure these are fine too. all right let's see if they line up okay closer Ta -da! I think we got it so this is the final results we will eventually make this look a little bit nicer than just a uh, unpainted PVC, but this is holding here. We've got these two brackets holding there. This can't fall down because this pipe is in the way. And then on the back here, we've got our two brackets holding it onto basically the, the arch right there. And 
Starlink goes right in here. Let's try that out. It's pretty solid. I can't like move it no matter how much I try. And there we go. Good job measuring Spandana and this shouldn't hit uh, this guy over here. You can see, it's hard to see from that side, but from over here you can tell it's not going to hit. And very little shading on the solar panels over there. Good job team. And with that increased connectivity, Dave can continue to be a software engineer, something that he has worked over 20 years to really develop and he can do it remotely, he can do it part-time, he can work on projects whenever he wants not work on projects whenever you want so that amount of flexibility is wonderful when you're in the tech industry and i love that as for me i am packing up because as long as we're in the u.s or we're close to the u.s i'm working with a consultancy consulting agency that allows me to work one week a month they fly me out they pay for the hotel they pay for the car and i get to practice medicine in the specialty that i am which is developmental pediatrics and it's wonderful, as I said, as long as we're in or near the U.S. As we get farther, the traveling, the packing up, the going to the hotel for a week, that might start to get a little difficult. And when we leave the U.S. and I can't easily fly back here to practice medicine, I've got two more options. One is to work with a website called Global Locum Tenants, which will help me find jobs ahead of time, plan it with whatever country may need our help, with, me, with my specialties, but also a country that we're visiting with our sailboat. The other option is to work remotely called telemedicine. So that's when I can practice medicine remotely. It's a little bit more trickier because I am going to be international waters and also in another country sometimes. So going through those logistics is a little difficult, but not impossible. I am in talks with a few companies to see how that could work out. And then if none of that works out, I actually have a backup of a backup of a backup. <laughs> Six months before we started to plan our great sailing trip, I decided to teach myself JavaScript and then applied for a program called the Grace Hopper program, which is this incredible program that makes it a little bit easier for women and non-binary folk to get into tech. And with the incredible six month boot camp they have, I became a software engineer. So like Dave, I can work remotely through the tech industry as well. So that's one more thing we can do to get our cruising kitty filled right back up so we can continue cruising. And so maybe the final brick in the wall is that we started this YouTube channel for, of Turtle to not just document our journey, which is a very big part of it, but also that we thought, you know, really we're out here sharing our journey. We're documenting these things. We're seeing all these amazing sites and sharing it with all of you. and you know, through YouTube uh, advertising and maybe Patreon down the line. That's another way that maybe we can keep this boat afloat and uh, keep going. And so, of course, the more subscribers we have and the more people we have watching the channel obviously grows all of that. So thank you for watching our videos and we hope you share this and continue to help us grow.